Hey cruisers, welcome back. We have not done a pack with me video in quite some time. And today we're excited because we're doing something totally different. Those of you who hang out with us all the time already know that we are getting ready to embark on a 10 night Panama Canal and Caribbean cruise. And our challenge for ourselves is to do this carry on only. So what we're going to be doing is packing into this backpack and this carry on bag for our 10 night cruise. Now I wanna just give you a little disclaimer that these are just my packing items. Each of us in the family, so myself, my husband, and my son are going to be taking one personal item, which in my case and in all of our cases is a backpack and one rolling suitcase. For purposes of this video, I'm just gonna show you what I'm packing. I actually am going to be shouldering the burden of all of the TSA liquids and things like that. So we feel like it's more a challenge to be packing into my suitcases than theirs. So that's what we're gonna get today. Today's episode is sponsored by cruiseline.com where you can find reviews tips and photos from real everyday cruisers and I am totally grooving on my shipmate app right now because man when you get close to your cruise that countdown clock is everything so let's take a look at it and I will tell you guys based on my little shipmate app here from my roll call where I'm going um, we're going to be starting off in Fort Lauderdale. We're going to Princess Keys, a couple sea days, Cartagena, Colombia, and then we're gonna be cruising into the new locks of the Panama Canal on our sixth day. And then we're going to Cologne, Panama, just at the end of our um, Panama Canal transit. And then we're going to Puerto Limon, Costa Rica, another sea day, and then Grand Cayman. So I am grooving on my shipmate right now. There are, for just the Caribbean princess alone, there are over 1,000 reviews on that ship and 30 1300 photos so I'm really enjoying interacting on my roll call and just hanging out with everybody who's getting ready to go on the ship looking at all the new pictures that come in it's really fun and awesome so that is where we're going you guys and what we're gonna do today is we're gonna start by actually packing um, my personal item which is a backpack this is a new backpack that I got on Amazon from a brand called Oryxon the reason that I bought a new backpack for this trip, you guys, is because this one is water resistant and we are going to be in some very rainy tropical areas and I felt like I needed something that had just a little bit more um, you know, protection against that water. So that's why I got a new one. It's slightly smaller than my other backpack. It's, I think it's like a 30 liter or something like that. I'm not really sure how that works, but we will link to this new backpack in the description below as with many of the other products that we're showing you today and of course our sponsor link, which we would love for you to check out when the video gets saved to replay. So let's start by explaining what's going to go into this backpack. And after I show you everything that's going inside, I'm going to prove to you that it actually all fits. So the first thing that I have here is my sunglasses. And those sunglasses are going to go in one of these outside pockets. I do have a pair of fluffy socks that are already packed into this little sucker because I get really cold on airplanes. So I always have to have fuzzy socks, really warm fuzzy socks. And then I have my passport neck wallet along with my highlighter pen and a regular pen, which is really important to take on flights and cruises so you can sign away when you have customs forms, things like that. Believe it or not, the flight staff do not have pens. That's really important. I have my passports in here. I have all of my dollar bills for tipping here. And then I have just my boarding passes for my flight here. I actually do not put my cruise luggage tags or my cruise boarding passes in this. I'm gonna show you where those go later. But those are going to go right in the outside pocket. The things that are gonna go inside the back uh, pack are gonna be the shawl that I'm using to keep myself warm on the plane and on my entire cruise. This is a major space saver. By only taking one shawl instead of a whole bunch of sweaters and things like that, that's gonna save me a ton of space. This is my hanging toiletry bag. You may see me actually taking a new one by the time we go on the cruise because we just received a new product to review that is a toiletry bag. But for now, I'm already packed into this one, so I'm gonna show you this. This, um, little guy has a bunch of pouches and up here I have the basic things that you always see me packing. So I have chapstick, earplugs, nail files, q-tips. Here I have makeup removal wipes, cotton nail wipes, things like that. And down here we have all of our toothbrushes, razors, tooth floss, soap, and even my sleep mask because I want to keep this close by for that first night in the hotel. So this is my hanging toiletry bag. Next up, I'm going to show you my TSA approved plastic bags that we're going to need to present on on boarding our airplane. This is the first of the TSA bags. And in this, what we have is some shampoo packets, my husband's shave cream, my daily sunscreen. We have got some body oil and an amazing self tanner that is so fabulous that I'm going to be doing a review all about just this one product over on cruise gear. Toothpaste. Um, it looks like we have some antibiotic ointment in here and some face wash. And that pretty much sums up TSA bag number one. 
TSA bag number two is kind of a mixed bag of other items. You'll notice in here that I actually have detergent. I have a wool light uh, liquid, and I also have some Tide pods in a little plastic bag. I separated them into their own plastic bag. We will be doing a ton of laundry on this cruise because I understand from people who are in uh, the Panama Canal right now who are doing this itinerary that it gets really uh, humid and there's a lot of sweating that goes on so changing clothes two to three times a day may very much be the case so we've got lots of detergent here I have some travel size sunscreen but not a lot because we're gonna go ahead and buy that when we get into our um, our first stop in Fort Lauderdale and then of course more toothpaste more sunscreen and basically just some other liquid things that we know that we're going to need so that sums up our TSA liquid bags then I have my usual paperwork folder in my paperwork folder, I have our uh, luggage tags for our, our bags once we get to the cruise port. I have my travel summary here, my booking information, and I believe that this also contains my boarding passes. I have my wall mount itinerary behind here, and then I have some thank you cards and things for people that we meet and some sticky notes. So this is gonna go in my backpack. And then just, we're down to the last few items that are going into the backpack. I was shocked, you guys, that I was able to get this in the backpack, but I actually did it with room to spare, so it can be done. Um, this is our medicine bag. We've gone over this before, so I won't go into too much detail, but basically pain reliever, allergy medication, cold medication, band-aids, and any kind of extra necessities, even Kleenex tissue in here that you might need. This stays with me at all times. This is actually my makeup bag. Now, this is an area I really had to pare down. Um, a very dear friend of Cruise Tips TV, Bethany, who sells lip scents on um, Facebook, had sent me this bag, and it's kind of a, it's a wet bag, so the inside of it is um, waterproof, so I thought that would be really nice in case it needed to double as a swimsuit bag or something like that, so all my makeup is in here. That was tough, but I did it. Next up, last thing, last pouch is my little cell phone pouch. This has a uh, set of headphones, a charger, and a little portable charger, and then of course our little wall cube for our iPhones for charging. So this is gonna be a nice little grab and go charging. So really quickly, let's go ahead and pack everything into the backpack because I want to show you guys that it actually does work. So I'm gonna start with this guy here, and here we go. Not too shabby, and there's even room to spare. I, uh, did I put my passport in here? Yes, I did. So this is not overstuffed, you guys. Feeling really good about this. I thought that it was going to be very difficult to get this backpack to where we want it to be. So let's switch gears, and let's look at my actual carry-on stuff. Now, I'm not gonna pack the suitcase because I don't wanna put it up here on the table, and you guys are just gonna have to trust me <laughs> that it all fits, but I'm gonna give you a little review of what's gonna be going into that suitcase. Now, full disclosure, I do have a teeny tiny bit of room if I need it in my son's little suitcase because his stuff is tiny, and he's also, you know, shoes are small, and he doesn't have things like curling irons and stuff like that. So this is what we're going to be taking. I'm actually taking a day bag on this little trip so that when I'm roaming around the ship in the morning before my family gets up, I usually put a bunch of stuff in this. I put some cameras in there to get some footage, my phone. I usually have um, a coffee mug for my husband, things like that. So this is my roaming around the ship and my port day bag if I don't really want to be using a backpack. So I think this is worth the extra space in my bag. Some of you might think this is frivolous, but to me, it was worth laying flat on the bottom of the suitcase. I'm going to show you the shoes I'm packing really quickly. I'm going to be putting these two pair right here in the suitcase. So we have my normal nude wedges, which I'm wearing every single night on this cruise, even formal night, and my flip-flops. Now what I'm going to do is put these two in the suitcase, okay? And then on the plane, it's my not so fancy sneakers. I'm gonna be wearing them because they are the most bulky thing to pack. So that's definitely gonna happen. We also have my curling iron. This is critical. Um, and that will be going in at the very last minute. I'll kind of like wedge it in the side of the bag, right? Probably the best way to do it. So I'm gonna show you how we're doing these three packing cubes, guys. It all fit into three. And I may even be taking this thing down a little bit. So let's reposition a little bit. I'm having a little zipper snag there because it's slightly overstuffed, but this particular bag contains my rash guards, all of my bras and underwear, a hat, all of my swimsuits, my bathing suit cover-ups, which are rolled up like this, one workout outfit, a couple of sports bras, and basically that's it, you guys. I'm not even really packing pajamas on this trip. I'm gonna be using kind of my walk around the ship 
types of pants to double as lounge wear to save some space. That's one thing that I did to kind of cut down on space. So this is packing cube number one. So undies, swimsuits, swimsuit cover-ups, things like that. And as you can see, it's really fully stuffed. So I will need to reassess. This is more my utility bag. Is that nice and centered, Mr. Crow's Tips TV? Okay, good, making sure you guys can see this. So there's still a little room to spare on this one. This is my laundry bag. So this doesn't have detergent in it, but this has the other things that I need, like a Tide pen, shout wipes, and some whitening type detergent that I can use in place of bleach. This is a bag of hand sanitizing wipes. These are the lounge pants I was telling you about that I can wear with a hoodie around the ship in the morning uh, with my sneakers or whatever. I could work out in them, but they could also double as pajamas. So that's kind of nice. One pair of athletic socks because I can wash them. This is the little purse that I like to use. I bought this at Express many years ago. This is what I like to take to dinner with my phone, my lipstick, some hand sanitizing wipes, and my cruise card, and this is it for walking around the ship. It's kind of dressy, looks good with my nude wedges, so that's kind of my little mini night purse. And then this is our cruise utility bag. It's gonna be hard to show you guys everything that's inside it, so I'm just gonna summarize and kind of give you a little peek. But this has our non-surge power strip, our travel alarm clock, all of the lanyards that we put around our neck for our cruise cards, a bunch of magnets for myself and for my mom's room who's sailing with us, and some other things like more sticky notes and an extra set of headphones, things like that. So this is all the utility stuff that we're gonna need right when we get in. This is a pop-up pamper, which is wonderful on a cruise so your laundry is not piling up on the floor. So this is kind of the utility bag, guys. This is packing cube number two. We are now going to take a look at the last packing cube, which quite frankly, is definitely the biggest of the packing cubes because it has all of my clothes in it. Literally all of my clothes are in this, including all of my dresses, which normally you guys see me pack on hangers, but we rolled pretty much everything except the stuff on top, which is folded, so here we go. This is what's inside. There's a lot of stuff in here. I'm taking three pair of shorts, which you will see all of this stuff put to use, you guys, in a what to wear or outfit of the day video after the cruise, so I'm not gonna go into great detail about what's in the bag. Stay tuned for that video and you'll see it on. But these are three pair of shorts, quite a few shirts, and then the reason I've opened this up is because I really wanna show everybody how I rolled all of my dresses and the rest of my clothes for this trip. So what you're seeing here is a bunch of uh, my dresses, so about seven dresses for 10 nights, there will be some re-wearing, and several t-shirts and a belt. So we've got a variety of different things, and I'm really, I've like surprised myself that everything fit in here. I did have to pull some things out and just realize that it's gonna be okay, and that I can re-wear things, I can wash things, I can do repeats, that this is, you know, this is what we set our mind to, so this is the way it's gonna be. So you guys, that is it, all of that stuff, Definitely does fit into my Roxy carry-on. This is cabin approved. I double checked the measurements for JetBlue and we're good to go. So what do you guys think? I would like to say, I did it, I did it. I was so proud of myself. I am so proud of myself. I think this is really exciting and my husband and son have done it too. My husband's bag is pretty packed because he's camera guy. He's got a big old tripod in there and he's a big guy. His pants are like three times the size of my shorts. So for him it was more of a challenge and I think he's taking his pillow too. So it's been very exciting. Thank you guys so much for all your support and ideas. We're still very open to any ideas that you may have about packing light for a cruise. Make sure that you guys follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We do a lot of fun things over there. We post new videos, old videos, announcements about things we're doing, photos of our trips, so you gotta follow us. Cruise Tips TV, all one word. Please also be sure to check out our sponsor in the description below. Thank you guys so much for packing with us, and until next time, we will see you on the high seas. Bye. Hey, click me to subscribe.